Okay, so today we're going to talk about thesis statements and how thesis statements are different from topic sentences. Okay, you already wrote your topic sentences, so you should already have an idea of what a topic sentence is. So, as review, what is a topic sentence? Ken? It's a sentence at the beginning of a paragraph that tells what the paragraph is going to be about. Very good. Beginning of the paragraph tells what the paragraph is going to be about. Thesis sentence is, a, is kind of the same because it does some summarizing, but it's also kind of different because it summarizes the whole essay instead of just the paragraph, okay? So this is where your guided notes will start. Um, so it says, the thesis statement tells what the entire essay is going to be about. So it talks about the whole paper rather than just the specific paragraph. So that's our small difference between a thesis sentence and a topic sentence. A thesis statement should introduce something that you can prove or explain. What are we doing for this paper? Are we proving or are we explaining? Explaining. We're explaining something. Proving would be more like um, an argumentative paper. So um, something that you're trying to prove a claim or an opinion about a certain topic. But this one you're just explaining um, your information. Uh, and the third point says your thesis statement's job is to guide both you and your reader, okay? So it should tell you, remind you what you're writing about, and it should remind your reader what they're going to be reading about. And the last part it says is your thesis statement should state every point that you're going to make in your essay, okay? And I have a little bit of a something to say about that because it's not every single point, right? Can you do that in one sentence? No, but you're going to kind of preview. You know you have, well, some of you have five paragraphs, but most of you have three paragraphs, right? Mm -hmm. And so you're going to have three main sections, and you're going to preview those three main sections in this thesis statement. That's hard to do in one sentence, yes? Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's going to take some time to really craft this sentence to be what you want it to be but it really helps us to know what the uh, paper's gonna be about, okay? So that's all for the thesis statements part of your notes. But I wanna show you some examples. So looking at this one, this is an argumentative example. So it says, this is the person's thesis statement. While running can be a difficult sport, anyone can become a runner with proper training and preparation, okay? So what is this person's argument? What are they claiming? Tell them. They can become a good runner. Anyone can become a runner. Anybody. Okay? Um, and then here are their three topic sentences for supposedly their three paragraphs. We don't even have to read the rest of their paper to know what they're going to tell us. So let's read the first topic sentence. It says a runner in training would need a running schedule. What's the first paragraph going to be about? All oh, right, the running schedule. Yes, the schedule of the runner. Uh, paragraph two, a runner in training needs to eat the right foods and drink plenty of water. What's paragraph two? Nutrition, Nutrition diet, health. Very good. Paragraph three, a runner in training needs the right clothes for both training in heat and training in cold weather. Clothing, right? Correct clothing. Very good. Okay, so we can already tell that they're going to be guiding us through those sections using those the, that thesis statement and those topic sentences. So we got that pretty well. We're not going to go through the other examples. But we will look at some more about topic sentences now that we've looked at thesis statements. So looking at topic sentences, this starts the second part of your notes. Well, the thesis statement covers the entire essay. That's a repeat of information. The topic sentence tells what each individual paragraph is about. So those are, that's a contrast. Okay, they both are summarizing. However, one is talking about the whole essay, and the other one is talking about just a paragraph. The topic sentence is just the paragraph. The main idea of your body paragraph should be clearly stated in your topic.
topic sentence. Okay. So that topic sentence tells us what's going to be coming, tells us, hey, here's the main idea of this paragraph. Kent told us at the beginning, before we even started this, he said it's going to be the first sentence. So your topic sentence should be the first sentence in your body paragraph. If I put it later, my reader was confused for that whole first section. But now they knew right at the beginning what this paragraph was about. And then last, you should include details in your paragraph that support your topic sentence. So all the rest of that paragraph should continue to go back to that topic sentence idea. Okay. They should all go together. So we'll look at one more example. And again, this is not on your paper, but you do have an example on the bottom to take with you and keep in your folder. So that's really nice. But this one says, Neil Armstrong, the first man on the moon, is one of the most famous astronauts of all time. What is this paper about? Thesis, the thesis sentence tells us. Raise your hand. Cameron. Neil Armstrong, right? Tells us it's gonna tell us about a Neil Armstrong. First paragraph. Neil Armstrong had to go through much hard work and training in order to go on the journey to the moon. What is that paragraph about, Emma? His journey to the moon, journey to the moon right? The hard work he, and training he had to go through. Uh, paragraph two, being the first man to land on the moon, Armstrong became one of the most famous men in history. Him being famous because he landed on the moon first. His fame from what he did, right? And then third paragraph, this man helped advance space exploration in many ways. So what is he like, the way he uh, affected space? The way that he affected space exploration and, you know, the continued effects of that. That's what we can see yeah. this paragraph is going to be on. This one is informational for sure, right? Yeah. They're not persuading us that Neil Armstrong's the best, that they are giving us information. Okay? All right, any questions about... Topic sentences versus thesis statement. So today, you are going to be adding your thesis statement. Emma, can I borrow this? Yes. This is where you're going to be writing it. Okay. You know that your thesis statement is going to go after your hook. It's the second part of your introduction. Okay. So this is what, um, that's where it's good. you're going to be writing it, right here on, on this page. Okay. Um, something to think about as you're doing that. On your rubric, it, in order to get a three for your introduction, it says, intro contains all parts and is woven together smoothly. So our aim is to have our hook and our thesis sound nice together, similar topic, right? They make sense as a group and an introduction paragraph. And luckily, they're right next to each other on this sheet under the introduction heading. So you can read them together when you write your thesis and make sure that they're, they're fulfilling this criteria. Any questions about what you're going to be working on today? Yes. 